people obviously came by boat, bringing with them their grain and some extra mice, and in the case of the cat, apparently, that means the mice. While early associations between people and cats are also evident in parts of Asia, it is the ancient Egyptians who are credited with the actual domestication of the cat. Between four and six thousand years ago, the Egyptians have been to the site. The Hebrews have the storage of the graves. A number of things are called graves, such as the graves of the African monarchy. And all those three that are the most covered in the earth. And some of the things are taken some captivity. The ancient Egyptians prepared all that, including the ones. I'm going to accept it. And so the very high stakes of the reading work in the Egyptian society. Images of cats form many artists. In the ancient music, there were no hundreds of artists that exist, but also the symbol of the cat, symbol of the Azimuth, Reality, and Fitness. Cats were mummified by the thousands. Some were even privileged enough to be laid to rest in the nature. The ancient city of Tel Boston was built as a tribute to Boston, a god in the form of a cat. It once housed a temple for the cat god, as well as a cat cemetery with over 10,000 graves. But all of this cat observation and being debated. Most examinations of some of the cat ponies have been in the second box. One of the fascinating things about cat ponies is that when we do an x ray of we find that the overwhelming majority of the ponies and collections of people there indeed show evidence of cat ponies. They were sacrificial victims to the cult of cat ponies. There is no way that you're an important part into the different culture. Experts also agree that these early cats are the ancestors of the cats we keep as pets today. The Romans were the first to distribute cats worldwide or here in the They brought them out of Egypt, they brought them to Europe, and then eastward into Asia as well. Then, after that, it was when the shipping trade began, and the Europeans then sent the cats to North America, to South America, to Australia in the 1970s, 1870s. Along with the Dark Ages, in the Dark Period for Cats, the very characteristics of the cat, sexuality, stealth, cunning, led to its persecution. Cats were then associated with witches. In some cases, women believed to be witches were put on trial along with their cats. And many times, both were executed. Cats, especially black cats, have been associated with bad luck and other myths. In the Middle Ages, in the Rise of these families, cats were implicated in such things as something like the name of the mother. A cat was so common a domestic animal that, of course, it was quite likely to be known. Um, the bereft parents attempting to understand what they heard had to be someone who was in the One power that redeemed the cat in the Middle Ages is its ability and the rats that were spreading the demonic plague throughout Europe. Once again, their mutual enemy, the rat, brought people and cats back together. Today, the cat carries with the enemy of the attributes, myths, and legends ascribed to it throughout the centuries. In modern Egypt, ancestors of the ancient cats can be seen prowling in the markets and bazaars looking for handouts. The 
Silver Persian, female, about two years old. Persians are distantly followed by a long haired variety called the Maine King Bank and the Siamese. Next in popularity is the Abyssinian, followed by a cross between Persian and the domestic short haired pole and exotic. Then comes the Scottish pole, with its characteristic pole to the ears. The Oriental short hair, created by crossing the short hair to the Siamese. And the American short hair, and says the main that derived from the paper. The Burman is next on the list, followed by the Burmese, the Ossetian. So many because of the jungles of the soil. Two Canadians and the unusual looking Cornish rats, a 
a breed that started quite by accident from a litter of barn plants. Other popular varieties include the Russian Blue, Devon Franks, Somali, British Short Hair, Norwegian Forest Cat, Egyptian Mouth, Japanese Bobtail, Turkish Angora, American Fire Bear, Havana Brown, and Turkish Bay. The Cornish Rex has nice ears that sit right on top of the head. She has an egg shaped head with the proper break, and she just loves being in the eyes. This is an Egyptian male. They're very outgoing, very friendly, active, uh, very similar to the Abyssinian and temperament. Happy. It's a main coon. They're very laid back cat. They're gentle, what they call gentle giants. It's more like a dog than they are a cat. This is an Himalayan. They're um, very people oriented, so that makes them one of the most popular cats. What are the cats being true? This is Elfin Max, Mr. Burnham. His name is Cairo. Happy Cassie Cairo. Elfin Max. That's your heart in the This is Roxanne Stages, Oksana Bridget. This is a Catholic thing for everybody. Characteristically, the sign is hard to come out with a very old Many of these people are campaigning their cats for regional points and national points. The better known the cat around the country, the more wins, the more valuable it becomes. It's the adults that achieve national status that can really claim a high price, although many times people are so attached to them, by the time they've gone a whole year of being shown almost every weekend, that you wouldn't part with this cat for a million dollars. You should stop breeding cats as a hobby and a passion for love them because it requires a methodical discipline, high motivated person to stick with breeding and various problems that do inevitably come along. Although there is great pleasure from it, there is definitely a lot of heartache and a lot of money involved in keeping them healthy. Gwyneth Sankey has been breeding cats for 14 years. After working with other breeds, she now specializes in breeding short years. The cats feel like children in that they do need you. Although they're very independent in some ways, they need you to take care of them, to love them, to feed them, and to keep them clean. Pretty short hairs in particular are a minority breed. And there is always homes for them. Otherwise, I would not do it. I would not ever do it. Able to do that if I did not have good homes for them. 
the most part of my cash rate, I try to have the cats with as much room as possible and not in cages. Sometimes it is important if you want to isolate a cat for some reason, or if the mother is expecting babies and do not want it to go off at an appropriate place. Mating is, of course, an essential part of the cat breeding process. The only way to create a new generation of kittens is to take its course. Cats cannot be artificially inseminated because the female does not ovulate until it is penetrated by the male. But getting the male of a female cat to mate is not as automatic as it might seem. Everyone can probably just take it and be able to it together and be able to breathe. They may have some other thoughts in them. It may not be compatible with the human being. It's a bony cat. So, you have to do it to do something to care for it. So, I think it's important to have a cat that's not a cat. Your male cat is always ready to breathe, but the female cat has to come in season. And she will start behaving really differently to a regular cat. When the female is in heat, you just take it out to breed with whichever male you chose to breed to breed with. The female doesn't really have a choice. She breeds with the male you put her with. But she has the choice that if she doesn't want to cooperate, she won't. And no matter how the male tries, until she decides that she's ready, that's the end of the story. In many modern years, with selective breeding, it is possible that cats will come in at many sizes as well. Before they decide to breed them, it's possible. Cats have shared our homes for thousands of years, yet they continue to do it. Because of their diminutive stature, we would think that the household cat has little in common with its wild brother, but that's not the case. To resemble it, that is the main thing. Bone structure, teeth formation, fur, bristles, eyes, horns. The domestic cat is comprised of approximately 280 organisms. 517 muscles. We are perfectly instructed to perform tasks with minimum effort and maximum fitting. Cats also have a unique walk. They move both left feet. And then both right feet. They share this walk with only two other animals the giraffe, the camel. Cats are stealth, all this is designed to stop The domestic human is also a relentless hunter, only it's probably somewhat different. You look into a cat's eyes and you can cross a bridge into a wild world. Uh, for tips, they draw your breath. They stare. A cat's eyesight. It is their most precious sense. It is a gift in that they can see vividly at dusk and dawn. In fact, 
that's not only about three-sixths of the amount of light that humans can see. A dog that does. This is what it would look like to us. Here's how it happens. Their nighttime vision may be superior to others, but the cat has a poor sense of detail. They most likely see their own faces as if they were looking through frosted glass or moon glass. Oh, very tall. Okay, Rops. Cool. Oh. think twice about leaving the cat in the car with keys in the kitchen. Dr. Nicholas Dodd, who says cats are especially colorful. They come to see a very green and red, and uh, they probably have the equivalent of like red, green, color blindness to humans. You have another kid that would be able to read on it. You can see the red color blindness to humans. Sense of smell is also superior. Like their jungle relatives, they establish their territory by scent money. They accomplish this by spraying urine on objects and, in a subtle culture, rubbing against Scent glands located between the eye and the ear used primarily to mark people and other things. Inanimate objects are usually marked by the scent glands found under the chin and around the lips. And don't be flattered that the cat goes to the bump and has to be and be about to feed him. He's not trying to be nice. He's really marking you with the glands around the base of his tail. As if the nose was enough, all cats come to the second super smeller known as a Jacobson Scorpion. While it may look like this cat is panting, what he's really doing is taking place molecules of airborne material into his mouth and passing it into the organ for a better trip. Cats also use smell as a Greek. They recognize each other more by odor than by sight. They expect humans to do the same. Using the invitation to smell them is like refusing to shake hands. Come on, baby. Keep that little thing in person. The cat's purr is one of the people's most soothing sounds, and for cats, one makes goes back. Experts have surmised that cats purr when they're feeling any intense emotion and pleasure for any. But there are conflicting theories on how they create this. Whether they're homegrown or they're homegrown. One thing that's definitely not mysterious about cats is their love of people. One of the things that's in favor of the fact that there is some function of the fact so that if you deprive them of play for a period of time, you're not putting a rebound, an increase in play, it's almost like a need to play. 
Cats also have a deep room. They spend an average of 30% of their waking hours engaging in this hygienic routine. The fact that the big spikes on their tongue provide the embraces they need to stay fastidiously clean. This innate behavior applies to wild cats as well. After they catch their prey, they must move the blood from their fur. If they don't, they can successfully come again. Cats spend about 16 hours a day sleeping. Being kind of good things to serve their energy because they never know when they might really need it. Unlike humans, they never let the stresses of the day interfere with a good night's or morning's or afternoon's sleep. Cats are usually variety. One study concluded that they make 15 simple sounds, combining it to 10 more complex ones. Cats clean, grumpy, snobby, kissing, spinning. Cats find comfort in high places. This instinctive behavior is shared with leopards and jaguars who sleep in trees out of the reach of predators. It also provides a perch for these wild cats to survey the landscape for prey. John Lyon King is in part of the food. And wild lions living hives with fully delineated hierarchical structure. But at home, the belief is that cats are basically loners. But when placed in a communal environment, they quickly develop a caste system all of their own. Located in part of Key West, Florida, is the Hemming Gardens, the famous author's former abode. Today, it's a museum, as well as a home for more than 50 cats. It's believed that in the 1920s, Ernest Hemingway was given a six toed cat by a ship's cat. About half the museum's current residents are probably back there. Sentence of the new ways of which of the Cats living in this community show that when there is an ample amount of food, usually independent cats can adjust to sharing its with them. Zane Gray, the undisputed king of the Hemingway Pride, is what animal experts call the destiny. He most likely was born with leadership qualities and was somehow affected by his environmental experience. Being unmuted also makes the same more impressive than the new space. When living communally, it's quite common for certain cats to form hair bonds. Since all of the cats were born here, there is a general sense of familiarity. And like humans, they sometimes gravitate towards having one best friend. Usually, cats feel a little close to it. Hi, Marilyn. How are you doing today? Another day at the Hemingway. Mm-hmm. Of course, cats from their bonds with them. Most of these cats are spayed and neutered. A select few are kept in touch with the perpetuate the lineage, carry on with the species. Given all we know about the cat, 
much and still remains a mystery. Perhaps that's what makes me spoiled and make the risk so intriguing. It wouldn't be surprising to learn that cats conspire to keep us at arm's length, allowing us just a glimpse of the order. But maybe, maybe cats are good and ready for children's fiction. Singed by fire. Nearby, David G. and Ellie found the mother cat. Badly charred and crying in pain, she was barely alive. Having rescued her kittens inside the blazing wood. She definitely was moving one at a time to another safe spot in the street. And uh, she probably just couldn't do it anymore because of the pain she was in. It was just what I had to see like that because I'm seeing animals like that and I'm usually naked. So I put her in with the five kids. She just like lost them into herself and touched every one of them because she wasn't able to see it and leave the five of them in the room. Well, if an officer had been made to go to the doctor, they can't try to save the family of cats. How can the best be uncertain? Two and a half months after the fire, Scarlett, mother, how good and nice. Thanks to her, all but one, their five kittens, survived the way. How would a cat go against its natural instinct to flee from fire? Probably because the maternal instinct is that much stronger. My guess is that cat had uh, quite a lot of emotional attachment to its kittens and um, it was more than a feral situation where instincts would prevail solely. Definitely, mother's instinct in the for the babies. I get all choked up when I, when I think about it, what, what she looked like before and, and now. Uh, I'm kind of you know, happy that it's turned out. Sometimes have the ability to find their way home over incredibly long distances. These important journeys are called PSI trailers. They are some sixth sense of cats that serve as a home to us. The bottom line is we don't know how cats relate to the planet. And one of the ways they may work 
in the night for many years to a fisherman and virgin. The presence of the magnetic field. So that's what's really the animal's quite at least in part by being aware of the magnetism of our planet. The animals move toward the fields they know by experience or by instinct where they want to be. But they have a pretty good mapping system to do that. I think that's I think one of their own senses is a sensitivity to the magnetism group. James Bradbury lives in Southern California. One day, a friend's cat named Smokey showed up at his door. The friend said that James' friend and Smokey had moved 500 miles away to Northern California five months earlier. First, James didn't believe this could be Smokey. This guy kept walking in, and I said, Get out of here, you don't live here. And the cat just was persistent. James' own friend, Siamese, instantly recognized and accepted Smokey. My cat didn't seem to like it, which is weird because cats are territorial. My cat didn't seem to like it at all. Finally, Paul Smokey's owner confirmed that the cat had been missing from his Northern California home for quite some time. The cat's here, he's a missing five months. In fact, that's all I can say about that. All I know is that thing. Another mystery is why the normally unsociable cat sometimes makes some very unusual friends. A 650 pound grizzly bear and an 8 pound cat are about company to be. The two met at a wildlife rehabilitation center in Oregon. The abandoned, the starving cat that sought scraps from the bear's meal. With uncharacteristic tendrils, the grizzly shared its food. Now, between these two, strange, as in a completely spontaneous problem. Experts attribute this to a learning process called string point. We can use those very young animals as they begin with the forms of personality. With cats, this period lasts from the time they're a few weeks old to about four or five months. They're going to make all their decisions about what's good, what's bad, what's friendly, what's unfriendly, and those feelings will last for a long time. Oftentimes, they'll let go of their natural instincts to be predatory. And the imprinting, the bonding that takes place in that area will allow them to become a natural friend. In other cases, just the opposite kind of impact occurs. Where a mother cat accepts a baby of another species as a tumor. In Southern California forest, local residents discovered a very small what they believe was a squirrel. Just days old, Tiny thing and kind of fallen from a tree. Animal lover Sue Rondell began to care for Ruby, turned out to be a baby cocoon. But feeding him around the clock on the table would be kind of sick. Sue did it I thought, well, it was worth a try if I could get a cat to do this. The local animal shelter soon found mom. Friendly, easy going, other cats with a rubbing scent among kittens and several others. After rubbing a kitten's scent on Woody, she put him and Mama together and hoped for the best. Within a day or so, everybody accepted everybody and worked out and really. She took care of him from really day one and I never had to beat him. I don't think she actually knows that he's different. They go more on scent, I think, than they do on appearance. Because it definitely looks different. Such marvelous acts. And then he 
has continued research for explanations, at least one says that in the end, it doesn't matter. Even when it's happening, yes, it means you're able to say, I don't understand it. That's okay. Because there's always going to be things. And I wish that I could. Here's a postscript to the story of Scarlet and the kitten she saved from the fire. After that story was told, hundreds of phone calls were sent in order to adopt the cat. So, as of today, we can report to you that Scarlet and her surviving kittens are not only recovered, but they can. Just look indoors as well. Everyday items around your home would be unprotected. Even though they're meat eaters, cats need to eat certain green plants such as grass. Or some house plants can cause cats to protect them. These and other house plants are easy to avoid. Good advice? This is the most healthy job. Same thing for 
spend about $4 billion a year on weather services. When cities have problems arise, facilities like the All Care and the Nation Fountain Valley, California, provide health care services that rival hospitals. Magnetic residence imaging. Most people will get rid of their doctors before they get rid of their cat. And 
As much money as people spend keeping their cats healthy, they spend even more trying to keep them happy. Not to say whether this conspicuous consumption is really for the benefit of the cats or the owners. Oh. 
all of that in our society, but they would think that's a good expression of the creation of the tree and the living world of us. It's related to the human problem. So it's very natural for them to take care of the things that one wants and desires and transfer them onto a mechanical gun. Great little box cutters, it's kind of like the way your little box is. Just a plain plastic, you get a custom made cutter put on it. You can get a matching gutter on the back, and you can choose from any one of these swatches of fabric. There's a gray one, and there's some hot of these. You start with $50 for this size, and you're going to have to do that. Yeah. Suites. They want daily pet and play sessions, VIP care, pampering, and extra fresh out. So these can go as much as thirty, thirty-five dollars a day. So that may be considered extreme, but for our clients who feel that they're pets and their children, and to a lot of them they are, uh, this is what they want. Thank you. 
families explain throughout the day. And then they have their video entertainment where they can sit and watch captive videos of uh, birds and squirrels running around on the top of the set. They really enjoy that. <laughs> If you read the comics, you'll see Felix, Heathcliff, Garfield. If you read children's literature, you know Pussy Boots, Cat in the Hat, the Cheshire Cat. How many times have you used the expressions, take a cat snack? Has the cat got you a cat? Cats have undoubtedly worked their way into our homes, but they've also worked their way into our culture. And it began a long time ago. Not only the first cat to achieve celebrity status appeared about 3,000 years ago in Egypt. The god Christ was depicted in the public media of the story and idolized by the masses. So that time, things have been in water, paint, paint, and television, and film, music. on the traditional comic cast with 
horse was rescued from a humane society, as all the horses have been, and he was about five years old when he was rescued. So he really is a rags to riches case. He's a lucky kitty. But I knew as soon as I saw him that he was the one who just had a magic presence and a great face. And it turned out, thank goodness, a, a good personality to go along with it. He's finicky, of course, which he really is, but he's also a very nice cat. perception that cats can't be trained. It's very
this also is operated as well in the nature of the Los Angeles. Having worked with just about every kind of man, they believe that when it comes to training, it's the third more credit that people can to live. They understand what you're saying. They understand the words. They're not really as hard to train as people think they are. It's just that cats are smart enough to sit back and let you think. Training techniques for cats and dogs are very different. Dogs are always communicating with members in the social network. Dogs can be dominant, respond to the human command. Cats, on the other hand, are pronouns who live right on their terms. Cats are Thank 
trainers often find their We look for cats, you know, that are, they're looking for you. you know, they're looking to see who will stick their fingers in and have them. We look for uh, extrovert cats. and reward techniques for the Thank you. 